blazes was that? I have no idea, but I appreciate the help. Any time. It's good to see you again. Lord Shah still in one piece? Oh. Oh, yes. The force was strong with him. Pity he didn't stand a chance. For a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission. You must have done something truly stirring. I don't remember making any Sith angry lately. None that are alive, at least. Perhaps he simply wanted a challenge. Fascinating. Ah well, you handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand, shall we? Greetings. I am Darth Varon of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? Dreadful. I do apologize. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Of course. They should have known better than to try. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, my friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Heartbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a fail-safe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. The pulse will already stop them. Why bother with the extra step? If we have the opportunity to obliterate our enemy, why do any less? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Heartbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Heartbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel, and help the Republic slip its head into the noose. And what will the rest of you be doing? Major Anri will be acquiring some special items we'll need later. Meanwhile, I will make a show of myself around the rest of Mekshar. 
we shall lead our enemies to suspect we're planning a direct assault, so they do not look too closely for other dangers. I will remain in contact, should any other urgent matters arise. And watch your back. At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck.